The eruption, which started two minutes after six o'clock in the morning, uh, has now extended toward the west, where we have the de defensive wall around the Swartzengi. But it has first to pass the road that you see to the right side of the center. Here you see it here again, at the, from the corner to the corner, is reaching that road. That's a road toward the Grindavik, and it's called the... Uh, uh, 43 number 43 road as you can see a tongue of lava fastly flowing it is slow because the terrain is rough when it reaches the surface of the road you will see what happens it actually burns first the water pipes then burns the asphalt enjoying it is moving into the asphalt as if it's just ice or a snow it's just a skiing as if for it that's a path prepared for it as if but the machinery by the uh, workers is there ready to block the path on the road further away this is the road which goes around the uh, Swartzengi toward the west side the road which was toward the from north to south toward the Grindavik is actually crossed by the lava lava is, has blocked that road no traffic through that road but that single machinery is standing there trying to save it. As you can see, it, the, the lava is enjoying moving on the surface of the asphalt. It's creating a lot of fire uh, because it's made of tar asphalt. And it is combustible material. And our machinery are working to stop it. This is the position of the wall. You can see in the lower part, I'll mark it here in the wider, wider view angle. Uh, camera angle this is an MBL camera by the way and you can see here there is a gap on the road this gap is left for the access to the Grindavik and the Swartzengi so if you want to be sure that this lava doesn't go this side we have to mend that gap cover it and I show it on the map also here this is the map from the first eruption the uh, December 2023 you can see this is my uh, uh, map of the area as you can see it has already cut the road in less than uh, two hours that it has started eruption